Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, I'm not gonna get into it because I know you saw yesterday's video, girl, and at this time, you know the deal with the backdrop, you know why things look a little different, and if you do not, and you'd also like to see this eye look, you can click right on up here and check it out because that was yesterday's video, and as you also saw in that video, I just decided like a minute ago, I was like, you know what, girl? I'm gonna make this a two-parter because I love the eyes, I love everything that happened, I love the way it's going on on my face, I don't know what this is, sorry. But nonetheless, I'm very excited because I have a ton of new face products that I want to test out and I want to do it on camera and I want to just hang out and do it with y'all. So that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to dive right in. So the first thing we're going to dive into is primer and this is actually a request from you guys. So this is the Cover FX Gripping Primer and y'all wanted to know it. I had so many requests for this and you guys were like, girl, look, everybody's been talking about it. What is the deal? What is the tea? What is happening? So I went ahead, I picked it up like I told you I would and we're going to apply it today. So so this says on the back here, a unique jelly texture that creates a smooth glass-like finish on the skin and grips makeup for flawless application and long wear. Perfect for all skin types, free of parabens, gluten, mineral oil, fragrance, talc, sulfates, and phthalates, which is great. Do you see that? It's like straight up like a thick, it looks like hair gel. Oh, and oh, oh, she feel, can you hear this? And I'm just going to grab, I don't even know what that is, like maybe a pea, pea and a half roughly. I'm just going to take it on my fingertips and kind of press it into the skin. Interesting smell. It smells like a shoe store. <laughs> it's exactly what it smells like. You know what's so interesting about this is like when I first did that little test, the sticky part on the hand that I kind of had you guys listen to for a second, I could feel the sticky very intensely, but when it's on the skin, you don't feel it nearly as intensely as you think you would, if that makes sense. Like I envisioned it being like thick and cakey and it doesn't feel like that. It's actually very smooth. And the only way you can really feel that, that tack is if you like press into it. But for the most part, it kind of, it's a very light tack and it's very smooth interesting hmm. now you guys know the drill anytime I'm testing out a new primer I will not test out a new foundation so I'm gonna go in with my Dior forever this is in the shade 0N Okay, so here's my thing so far. I don't hate it. I do feel like my Dior is looking a little thicker than usual, which, I mean, every once in a while I'll have that with a foundation, but overall I think it looks pretty much the same. I did find that while applying, it did have a lot of extra stick to it, so I can definitely feel that primer like doing its thing, chicken wings. So we're gonna go ahead, obviously, let this wear a little bit and see what we think. So now we're gonna move on to concealer, and I have two options here, which is, I don't even know why I grabbed both of these, because I shouldn't even try both, but like, whatever. Um, the first one I have is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Instant Fix Concealer. This is the 24 hour concealer and hydra prep, which is so interesting because on one side they have obviously a concealer and then on the other side they have like this very thin, almost primer for your under eye and it's meant to go in and be very um, rejuvenating, be very hydrating and really help you out if you have dry under eyes. So I have that one, right? But then I also have, this is great, the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer which everyone talks about being literally the most full coverage concealer in like the entire existence. So I'm not sure how I want to work this out. I want to start off by I think just swatching these Jouer ones because I've used the Estee Lauder one once before but not enough to really like get a feel for it. So on the top right up there I have the shade Lace and then underneath of that I have the shade Snow. Those are both the Jouer. So I think the shade Lace if I was going to like lay it down for foundation is very close to my skin tone but the shade Snow no, actually would make a very pretty highlighted shade under the eye I think so that's an option now I do of course want to go ahead and swatch for you guys the Estee Lauder one as well and this is in the shade 0.5 ultra light neutral so you see that little nugget right there that's the Estee Lauder so it's actually a beautiful in-between shade of both of the Jouets that I have interesting so I think no matter what the first thing I want to do is take this hydra prep the gel side under the eye now I did recently check the Ulta website just to see like how I was doing as far as application if I was doing it right the one time I used it and a lot of people that have really dry under eyes are actually loving this preparation side because they said it really really helps with um, making their under eye not look crepey or cakey and I do agree with that the one time I used it my under eyes looked very nice very plump and I like to just go in and kind of pat it 
it and really just give it a chance to soak in. So I love the concept of this. I think it's really nice to put something that's nice and rejuvenating and then have a concealer on the other end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of this concealer from Estee Lauder. I was going to apply just a little bit, nothing too crazy. I'm going to blend it out on that same side with my Fendi sponge. Okay, so that is one layer of the concealer. You can definitely still see like some of this blue kind of coming through, at least I can. I'm not sure if it picks up on camera, but right in here, there's definitely still some of my blue under eye situation poking through. And what I want to do is actually take a little dollop of the Jouer concealer. And I'm gonna go in with literally just one dot of the shade Snow because it is so, so, so light and so full coverage. Okay, two dots. And I'm gonna take them right there. And I think I'm gonna go in first with my finger and blend them out because I have heard horror stories of people going in with way too much of this so I just want to do a very light amount see how it looks how it blends whoa you know what I think I'm gonna do guys because I actually don't hate that I'm gonna grab a little bit of the shade lace in the Jouer concealer and I think I want to take just a little speckle of this like right here just to blend it down because it is very stark and I want to just transition it a little bit so I'm just gonna take that one little dot and kind of pat it around and almost transition my under eye into my foundation because girl she very bright now on the other side I want to go in with just the Jouer I don't want to go in with any of that Hydra prep underneath of it from Estee Lauder and I want to just see how this looks underneath of here I'm just gonna take a little bit nothing too crazy I mean that is probably a lot but you know what we're gonna blend it out it's fine I'm gonna blend this side out primarily with my beauty sponge the other one I blend it out a lot more with my finger so I'm just gonna grab a little bit here and kind of reshape out my face just a little bit nothing too crazy okay so per usual yet again anytime I go in with a new concealer I always use a powder that I know I love and trust just to make sure everything is fair so I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury magic powder and I'm going to set the under eye as well as lightly set the rest of my face and then we're moving on to some more face products now I did set my face super super light today because I can already feel a lot less like moisture in my skin I have a feeling it's that cover fx primer because it does feel very like tight and very like sucked together which isn't a bad thing if you're going for longevity but something to keep in mind you may want to set your face a little lighter because I can feel it it doesn't feel bad it's not like a negative feeling it's just like my face is telling me like oh girl you better not over powder us today because it's gonna bite you square in that ass of yours okay guys so for bronzer blush and highlight I have some new stuff from Kylie cosmetics I don't typically make like full-on Kylie videos anymore so I wanted to just like throw these in here and see what we love and I'm very excited to do so because I managed to scoop up one of the bronzers this is in the shade khaki and I feel like actually it's like a really nice color for my skin tone I I believe this is the lightest one so we're just gonna dive in and pray a little and this is the Jaclyn Hill JHO2 brush that she did with Morphe um, it was in my recent video I did of uh, my favorite face brushes I can link that up here for you guys and we're just gonna go ahead here and oh okay well she still got pigment girl she might be lighter on my skin tone but she got pigment yes okay yep bronze me up do it just do it do it do it, do it, don't know about your beat it, beat it. <laughs> Dorito Cheeto Cupcake, guys, say it with me. Dorito Cheeto Cupcake. Yes. She's not going to get smaller on her own, girl, and I'm not about to start running laps like a little gerbil on a wheel. I don't think so. All right, so loving the way that bronzer is looking. Wow. I'm going to move on now to blush, and I have the shade Pink. What is this? Pink Power. And it's a very, very bubbly gum type pink, and I'm taking this on the Wayne Goss number 12 brush here. And I am just going to very, very lightly apply this to my cheeks. Like I'm tapping it on the brush and then making sure that I tap the majority of it off because, girl, if this is even remotely as pink, like, hello, that is pink. So I want to go in, make sure that I have good control and not over apply. Ooh, she's pretty too. Guys, I was not sold on this shade. Like when I first picked it up, I was like, oh, that's pretty because online it looked a little different. And then when it got here, I was like, that is pink and then now that I'm applying it it actually has a really beautiful like subtle pink to it that you can build up and make very intense and more bubblegummy as you go that's really pretty now real quick I am gonna grab my hourglass ambient lighting palette here and I'm gonna take this big old JH01 brush and I'm gonna tip into this middle shade right here mix it a little bit with the pinky shade on the end and I'm going to lightly veil the entire face this is something I've been doing lately I just 
love the way it seamlessly blends everything on my skin. I feel like that primer is making things really like cling very intensely, which isn't a bad thing. Like obviously that's the entire point, but I just feel like my nose and like little areas on my face don't look quite as smooth as they normally do when I go in with the same Dior and the same Hourglass. So I'm not sure yet. Um, I am going to go ahead though and I'm going to spray my face. Hello. We're going to use some Morphe continuous setting spray. Love this. Mm-hmm, that's right. Using my fan. Although, P.S., for those of you wondering, I have already hit myself in the face with the fan, so. Really, I can just hit myself in the face with anything. It happens. So for highlights, I have two different shades uh, from the Kylie collection that she recently launched. I wasn't sure which ones would work and which ones would not for my skin tone. See that? It's very light. That's the shade Quartz. Hmm. I don't actually love the way that it swatches. It looks very chunky. And I feel like it's very like not impressive. Okay, um, that's a little depressing. Let's grab the shade Cheers, darling. All right, a little bit more reflective. You can kind of see it right there, but neither one of these is great. We're gonna be testing out the shade Quartz. Oh, well, let's say, first of all, it reflects a lot better on the cheek than it did on the hand which is good, like that's one little dunk in there, so the reflection is pretty. Now it is emphasizing my texture quite a bit, which you guys know, a highlight is going to emphasize texture, yes, but this is like the unflattering, like unnecessary emphasizing. I'm actually gonna take and mix it a little bit with the middle shade from that Hourglass palette. This is a really good trick that I've been doing lately. Uh, same highlight brush, same everything, and I'll take that shade and blend it with whatever I'm working onto my cheekbone. If I need to soften it, if I need to make the glow still be glowy, but maybe bring it down a notch, if I need to smooth everything out, it's just mixing that powder with a highlight can do so much. Now, even though it's obviously not my shade, I do wanna try taking the other one, the shade Cheers Darling, and I'm gonna take that and put it on the other cheek just to see, and maybe we'll mix it with that Hourglass powder as well. Oh, wait a second, maybe that's not too dark, my God. Okay, that did that swatched way, and I wiped my brush off, by the way, that swatched way darker than that. Like, I'm looking at the swatch on my hand versus what just applied to my skin, that's bizarre, the difference. Okay, so the shine, yet again, very nice. This one actually doesn't look or feel as thick and chunky as the other one did. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that hourglass powder just to even them out and do the same thing on this side. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and give the face one more spray, because y'all know before I dive into mascara, I like to spray my face a final time, so one more round with my Morphe Prepping Set. And of course, per usual, we're gonna go in with our Catrice Dewy Glow Setting Spray. Okay, so obviously we went ahead, we let that sink in, and on recommendation from you guys, we're gonna play around with some mascara, which I don't do too often. So in my month end favorites, which I will link up here for January, hello, right there, um, I mentioned that I've been loving the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Mascara, which I did just repurchase. Now, one of you down in the comments, you were like, oh girl, it's good, but it is not as good as their Legendary Lashes Volume 2. So I picked them both up, we're gonna do a head to head battle and see which one I like, if they're both good, if this one really is better, whatnot. So let's go ahead and dive into that. First thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my cute little pineapple lash curler from Tarte. And girl, I'm about ready to curl my lashes right on up to the Jesus himself. Hello, yes. So I am going in again with a brand new full fat lashes. This is the one I have been loving. And I'm going to go ahead and apply some coats. Okay, so I'm not sure how well you can see it, but this right here is one coat. So obviously I'm gonna go ahead, layer up with another one. All right, so that right there is two coats. Now truth be told, a lot of times with this mascara, I will go in with three coats. And that's because at this point they look nice and elongated, but when you go with that third coat, girl, it makes it look so much more voluminous at the base. So I always go in and I hit it up, yes. All right, so that right there is three coats. Look, oh no, oh, you guys, I suck. Oh my gosh, hold on. Guys, I totally forgot. I have the Benefit liner, the roller liner that I wanted to test out, and look at how intense this is. Oh yes, I can't believe I almost forgot. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna tight line the lashes on the upper lash line with this. And we're just gonna be very careful, doing it over the mascara. It's not a big deal, hello. 
Now the whole reason I was so excited to try this, I'm not even gonna lie, I swatched it in store and it didn't feather on my hands and I was like, mm, hold on, cause these always freaking feather on me like so bad. This formula is so beautiful and it's so nice matte black, but it's like a rich black, oh. Mm, I love the way that that applied. Yeah, I know it doesn't sound like much, like, oh, all she did was tight line. Let me tell you, if you've been here for a minute, you know my struggle with black felt tip liners. Mm -mm. Like, we do not get along, we struggle bus our lives, and I have such a hard time finding one that is just amazing. And this is not feathering on my hand, it's not feathering on my lid. It's so beautiful, so black, so opaque, and it's so nice and matte, like the dry down is great. It's not smudging off on my hand at all. I'm, oh my gosh. First impression for this guy, Oh. Okay, I went ahead, I brought you guys back in, and now we're gonna go on the other side, which of course I've already curled the lashes, and we're going to take the Legendary Lashes Volume 2. I wanna look at this one. Oh, very interesting wand. It's very, um, I would say like Too Faced Better Than Sex kind of wand. It has like that thickness to it. I wanna actually compare that to the Full Fat Lashes. Okay, so this guy right here is the Full Fat Lash Comb, and I think it's interesting because that one actually tapers up more like a Christmas tree, whereas this other one, the legendary actually has more of like that Too Faced Better Than Sex kind of vibe to it. Kind of comes in, tapers in, almost like an hourglass shape, but very full, kind of chunky looking bristle. So let's go ahead and give this a go. Okay, so that right there is about one coat, maybe a little bit more, but that's about one coat. Okay, so that right there is two coats, and again, already more full, more voluminous than the full fat lash side. And what's interesting here, and I'll actually talk a while. I go in for coat number three on this side. What's so interesting is that this side is actually more chunky, I would say, than the full fat lash, which full fat, I would think it would be a chunky one. But the other side is more concentrated on lengthening the lashes, whereas this side is more like focusing on a little bit of length and volume, but all at the same time. All right, guys, I ran ahead, I did my lipstick, I did my hair, and I'm ready to give you guys some thoughts on all these products. Now, before I do that, what is on my lips, you might be asking? Well, it's nothing new. Couldn't find any new lipstick that I had that I thought would even come close to matching this. So I went in with my KKW Nude Number no. 4 lipstick with the Marc Jacobs Daisy Love Enamored High Shine lip gloss over top of it. This is such a beautiful, sexy, luscious looking combo. I am obsessed. So that is what's on my lips. Now, as far as the rest of the face, I thought we would give a real quick breakdown of product and what I think, what I'll use again, yada, yada. But let's go ahead and get started first with this Cover FX Gripping Primer. Um, I'm kind of on the fence with this one. I like it at first. I didn't like it in the middle, but then once I went through and I set my entire skin and now everything has had like a chance to meld together, I think it's doing a beautiful job. I definitely think it does a good job at um, adhering the products that it touches to your skin, which is key. I think this is going to be a good longevity primer. I'm not sure how I feel about it as far as like a pore filling primer. Obviously, that's not the intent. This is meant to grip. It's called a gripping primer for a reason, but I need something that'll really get in there and let my pores be filled in. As far as a first impression, I do think it's doing a good job at doing what it says. And what's interesting too that I just want to throw out there, this is actually gripping primer plus firming. And when I first put it on, I was actually telling you guys like, wow, my skin feels tighter. It feels, it feels like it's like it's getting kind of sucked in. So I was actually very much so feeling that sensation and didn't even realize that that was like a speck on the bottle thing that was supposed to happen. So it's interesting. I do definitely look forward to continuing to work with it, see how it wears. Now moving on from there, we drift into concealers and I keep looking at my under eyes because it's been a little while since I was last on camera and I do feel like the under eye that had that Hydra Prep primer underneath does feel a little bit more comfortable. It does look a little bit more um, de-puffed, a, a little bit more quenched, I guess you could say, on that side versus this side. Now, the other side that has just the Jouer concealer on it, it doesn't feel dry or look dry or anything, but just between the two, I am noticing little differences, but it's mainly in the way that it feels. So as far as that Estee Lauder concealer goes, I do think it's more of a light to medium coverage, something that if I was wearing lighter makeup, I would probably reach for that. The Jouer one on the complete other side of the spectrum, very, very full coverage. 
So then that brings us into the Kylie Bronzer Blush and Highlights. The bronzer I quite like. I feel like it has a beautiful veil to the skin. The buildup of that and the blush were beautiful. They've stayed on. Like, I don't have any issues with those as of yet. The highlight for me is probably the only thing that I'm like, ugh. Now, right now, does it look good? Absolutely. I blended it out with that Hourglass powder, and I think it looks stunning on the skin. But my biggest issue is, yet again, I did have to blend it out with that powder. And so I have so many highlights that I don't have to do that with. I don't know that I love this one. It just looks a little too chunky for me. Now, I'm not going to get into it too much, but I do love both of those mascaras. I already gave you a ton of thoughts on that, so I don't want to reiterate, but both are very nice. And you guys, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you love the way it turned out? Do you love the eyes? Do you love the face? Like, what's your favorite part? Do you like any of these products? And also, while you're down there, don't forget that a ton of the products in today's video came from you guys asking me, hey, Paige, will you try this? What do you think of this? And I picked them up, and I tried them. So that way I can answer your guys' questions. So let me know if there's anything that's like, hey, Paige, I see this is about to release, or that's going to happen. Would you be willing to test this out? And guys, if it's something I can get my hands on, and it's something I think I can make a video out of, absolutely. I will be more than willing to grab it, check it out, and let you guys know my thoughts. So leave all of those down below. And of course, I also want to know if you have tried any of these in today's video, and what your thoughts are, because girl, I love to hear from you guys. And also, while you're down there, don't forget, you can always scuttle on up to that description box if you have not yet went and followed me on Instagram and on Twitter. They are both linked down below in the description box, and I seriously love and appreciate all of you guys so so much that have done it already I'm on the quest to get verified and you guys are helping so much I appreciate it like you could not even know how much I love and appreciate it from you guys so thank you for that and while you're here you might as well subscribe and turn on your notifications if you have not yet because I put up new videos five days a week Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in northern Michigan and girl we do everything makeup love it hate it new old whatever the case may be we talk about it we try it we test it and at the very least you want to stick around to see how this room turns out so definitely subscribe again and turn on your notifications that way you know every time I upload and you're like oh girl it's time to hang out with Paige we're getting ready we're putting our makeup on we're doing our thang chicken wang and you want to hang out with me be ready because I'm coming at you five days a week oh you guys okay that is a lot so thank you all again so so much for watching and please do not forget to have a great day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one Bye. So for bronzer, blush, and highlight, I'm super excited. I have some new stuff from Kylie, and we're going... Okay, sweat. Like, I know her. Also, we're still rocking this velvet black scrunchie, girl. Yes. Did I, like, hit myself? Do you see? There's, like, a red dot above my brow. Did I do that? Like, did I hit myself? Hello? So I'm excited. Okay, so... So for bronzer, bronzer, blush, and highlight. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I almost just fell forward onto my table, took my camera with it. Oh my actual God, this is dangerous, hello.